Harrison Schultz had a fine top half of the seven on the mound. Three balls that were all weakly hit, including one broken bat. He was able to make the catch on the mound. Faces nine, one, and two in the order. It's Fainer, Soika, Blair. The last inning, bottom seven, ended in interesting fashion. Ethan Thomas was at first base. Sean McGurk hit a double to the gap. It was his first hit of the summer. I was unable to congratulate him as the ball is hit softly towards center field. Murray Jr. charges it, makes the play because on that double, Thomas tried to take home. He hesitated as he rounded third. Looked like he was going to stop. He tried to go one more. He was thrown out at home plate by a mile, and that ended the inning. But congratulations to Sean McGurk for his first hit in a Bismarck uniform. There's the play. Not close at all. One down. Soika. 0 for 3. Went under his foot. On deck is Brett Blair. Blair has three strikeouts, and he is the beer batter of the game. Meaning for each of those, fans get 50% off a drink. Bunted down the third baseline, another tough barehanded play from McGurk, but this time he's unable to make it. A bunt infield hit. McGurk was playing normal depth. There was tons of room for a slap bunt on the third base side, and it worked to perfection. Now with one out, Stinger's looking for any momentum after before that bunt, they only had three hits. This is from an offense that's hitting over 300 as a team. It's almost bizarre to see this happening. Luke Zimmer had a fantastic outing. Larson Schultz picking up where Zimmer left off in the seventh. This time he's working for the first time with a runner on base. Walked from Christian Knight. He has been a hawk back there. Nothing has gotten past his glove. It's 2-0. Oh. Blair will watch. Down and away. And if he strikes out again, these fans better not be driving home. And if they need a ride, you can always wait for me after the game. I can seat five. Three and oh. Called strike. It's ball four, but he thought wrong. Calling the balls and strikes once again, Frankie Gonzalez behind the plate. At first base, it's Tom Purchase. At third, it's Juan Rodriguez. Freddie Smith wants to talk to his left fielder. We've seen him do this on multiple occasions in these two home series, three actually, counting this one, at Bismarck Municipal Ballpark. Because he's bush It's a late, play though. to disrupt the momentum of the pitcher. Freddie Smith is one heck of a manager for the Stingers. Last year, they had over 50 wins. They broke the franchise record for winning percentage. They also scored the most runs in Northwoods League history. It's Smith's third season with the Stingers. In the dirt. Wilmer finally with some traffic on the base pass. 
trying to battle back late. A mound visit from Jack Gonzalez. Had a good time. It's the heart of the order. A part that's been asleep tonight. Budenbach did have a hit in the first inning, but since then he's flown out, grounded out. The man behind him, cleanup hitter Bushy, reached on some free passes, but doesn't have a hit. And you feel like this Stingers team at any time could bust it open. No ditty. First and second, one out for the Cornhusker. The Stingers, one run on four hits, two errors. The Larks, four runs on eight hits, no errors. Schultz finds himself in a tricky position in the eighth. However, a double play up the middle would end the inning. Up and in mm -hmm. to the lefty. Mutant back. In mid-June, went 5 for 10 in the first series here at Municipal Ballpark. He's hit well against this squad. It's getting late. Ball in the dirt, and it looked like Schultz was disrupted. That's because the man on second base... Soika was dancing around. He took a few steps toward third, moved back. Surprised that Schultz didn't step off. He's down 3-0. and And this is how the Stingers can affect you. They did this well late last night. They got the runners moving in the ninth and 10th. It made Bismarck's pitching struggle with their location. 3-0. and Schultz on the verge of walking the bases loaded. For the power hitting Butenbeck. He walks the league leader in average. Sacks are full. Mark Wiedemeyer on his way out. 